doing the murder never stop. What what are our options? Is this legally considered defamation? Because I'm not most much struggling here. Can someone please tell me just what my options are here? Because I we were supposed to launch the, the toys today. Jake knows what he wants, Jake knows what he thinks he needs. He just wants to be a stupid stand up comedian and we didn't even follow that dream. He has no idea how much fucking money I spent on that video to scrap it. What you just heard is completely fake. That was AI. And even though the title of Jake Weddle's video is I caught Jimmy in a secret recording dot dot dot, he admits that it was AI and completely fake later in this video. That's right. I got that sent to me. And you know what? That was AI. So that's just completely clickbait. This Jake guy has literally lost all my respect. Every ounce of little respect that I had for him after the interview with Dogpack, I already thought he might be off his rocker a little bit, but this guy is just crazy. I do not understand how anybody on the internet is agreeing with this guy whatsoever. There's so many things that he says in this video that contradicts himself and everything he stands for that I'm just... Honestly, I was in shock watching this video, but that's why we're talking about it today So we will go over all of that in today's video starting out with how he got this AI recorded message of Mr. Beast and goddamn first Can we just take a second to talk about that? AI is freaking scary people because even when I was watching that I was like, holy shit This is real for sure. My first thought was that this might be AI and even thinking that like, before even hearing it, I was like, oh, this is probably just going to be AI. And then I heard it, and I was like, oh, 100%, this is real. They got him. Mr. Beast is done. But no, it's AI. So somebody did text Jake. I don't know how they got the number. He showed, he shared some of the screenshots, and he asked the same thing. But somebody got his number and sent him that and said it was real. And then Jake sent, like, a spam of, like, 13 messages back. And I, I understand why, because this is a very important situation. But the, the random selfie in there... This is weird. Like, Jake is a very popular person on the internet right now. Like, he has 73,000 views on this video in three hours of posting it. I would be very nervous that my number is out there, and I probably wouldn't be sending selfies to a random person texting me when I don't even know what they look like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jake might be off his rocker a little bit. Just weird response, in my opinion. But that's besides the point. That's just a very small thing that I noticed. But anyways, this person does end up finally telling him that it was fake. He was just joking around. Thankfully, the guy said that because he could have ran with this and it probably would have ended up on drama alert and everybody in the world would have thought this is real. So the AI message is completely fake, but, but, but Mr. Beast did actually reach out to Jake. Mr. Beast has responded not publicly, but specifically to Jake in private. And Jake even went and shared the DMs from Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast says, hey, I want to reach out and say I didn't mean to cause you mental stress with that video and I apologize. Clearly, it had an effect on you. You mentioned that you'd like to be paid out the rest of the prize money, the other $190,000, and I'd love to make things right with you. I have zero expectations of you mentioning me sending you this money publicly or taking down any videos. This is just me wanting to help out and make sure you're good. I just need to know if you still use the same bank or not we'll send the money on monday i wish you the best oh and now jake is all chipper he's got very positive things to say about mr beast in this video now he says he absolutely loves that this was done in private the personal apology the the person to person thing you know there was no lawyers around it wasn't a spectacle. There was no camera in my face. I respected that. And then Jake goes into the conversation of not caring about money. He's like, this isn't about money. He's like, I don't want to take the money because then you all might not watch my videos or I might lose the respect of the audience watching me. And yes, it's very true because throughout the entire video or the interview he did with Dogpack, he talks about how money is not important to him. Yet on the flip side, he constantly talks about being poor and how much he needs money. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't take a hundred and I, I just couldn't take it because it, it's still a mechanism of the game it's still like the rest of the prize money and that's not what it was about it was when you have no money it's not a choice is it so I, I, I need that money but I don't want you guys to think that that's going to change how I feel I don't want you guys to think I'm going to go back on anything I said. It's still like the rest of the prize money. That's not what it was about. 
I'm just calling it what it is, people. That's what he talks about. Like, constantly, there's one side where he's like, I hate money. I'm never going to accept money from Mr. Beast. And then on the other side, it's, I'm poor and I need money so bad. And he constantly talks about both sides of these things. And you you can't have both. You have to choose one side. And in this video specifically, t the one titled, I Caught Jimmy in a Secret Recording, he starts, like, within the first three minutes of this video, he says, like, none of this has ever been about the money. For probably 18 minutes of this 22-minute video, he talks about money. It's it's actually insane that nobody else is seeing this. He said he responded to Mr. Beast, sent Mr. Beast a bunch of messages back because that's just who Jake is. He's very frantic and gets going, so it sounds like he just started spitting off a bunch of messages back to Mr. Beast. He's probably losing his mind here. This is his one shot. This is... You know, he exposed Mr. Beast. He's getting millions and millions of views right now. He's in the limelight. He's got Mr. Beast's attention. Now he's just spitting it off the top. And Mr. Beast says, let's have a phone call. So they get on the phone. And <laughs> once again, Jake goes from saying Mr. Beast is the worst person ever. He says he actually hates Mr. Beast in the interview he did with Dog Pack. But now he's singing the praises now that $190,000 is on the table. And Mr. Beast is giving him the time of day. So they get on the phone call and Jake says, no, I can't take $190,000 from you because my audience wouldn't like that because I said I would never take money, but I could take $50,000. What the hell, people? What the hell? How is anybody okay with this whatsoever? But, but you know how it looks, you know, for you to, to give me this cash that I desperately need, right? You know, I don't, I don't want, I want, my, I want my audience to trust me here. You know, I want, I want to remain credible. Counter offer. 50. You you save $140,000, you just give me 50. Everything with Jake is about money. I don't know. And just a random thing, you know, this does not show into his life whatsoever. I get that. But even if you just like look at Jake's studio, he, he's got a nice microphone. He has a custom board on the back of the wall that says Wednesdays with Weddle. Looks like some very nice lighting. It looks like even if this is a one bedroom apartment, it looks very nice. He's got some vinyls up there. I've got some vinyls in this room. I was even looking at his presence of like how well he upkeeps himself. He's got a very nice haircut. Everything's trimmed up nice on his face. He looks nice and clean. I'm just saying he talks about being poor a lot. This doesn't look like a poor person to me. And even though, so he did accept the $50,000 from Mr. Beast. He, he said Mr. Beast has not sent it yet. It's Mr. Beast. I'm sure the money is going to get sent. He accepted the $50,000. And the only thing he says he's going to be using it towards is his debt. And like, I don't know if that's why he's calling himself poor, but damn near everybody in the U.S. I know for damn sure I have debt. I've got, you know, debt from college. I've got debt on a car loan. I've, everybody has debt. Debt is not good in any situation, but I don't think we can sit here and say we're poor. And that's the only reason I accepted $50,000 is to pay for student loans. That's not an excuse to take the money after you've spoken so against the money and saying that you will never take money from Mr. Beast. Like it's, it's actually mind blowing. Honestly, I, I just think this Jake Weddle guy is a giant clown. This is just my personal opinion on it. I think he wanted his chance at the limelight. He got it. Dog Pack gave it to him and the whole Mr. B now Mr. Beast is giving it, giving it to him. And I think he wants money off of this. He's he's about to monetize his YouTube channel and he's going to make a fuck loads, a ton of money off of YouTube with the amount of views and everything that he's going to get off this situation. Even though he has said he's currently not monetized, He's going to get monetized very soon, probably within the next few days. And then after that, his videos are still going to be, he's going to make a lot of money off of YouTube. Plus the $50,000. Did this guy want to fucking clap like a, a pats on back for Jake Weddle? Dude, th you a real one for not taking the full 190000 brother. Respect. You only took 50000 In my book, it makes no difference. If, if he even fucking took a penny, he should have just took the $190,000 idiot you're, you're losing credibility if you take a penny so why not take the full amount at that point this ah the guy's a clown but here's what i will say about mr beast mr beast obviously has a giant team behind him i think this was a damn smart move by mr beast hear me out mr beast has not made a public statement yet and in that first dm that he sends to jake he does say he doesn't want this publicized now that could 
be Mr. Beast just being a nice guy, but let's be realistic here. This is a massive company, the Mr. Beast team and the brand and everything that makes tons and tons of money every year. Best believe that there is a team behind the scenes saying exactly how to write out that DM. And although Mr. Beast says, I have zero expectations of you mentioning me sending you this money publicly, dot 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 i think they knew 100 percent that this would get mentioned publicly and it does two massive things for mr beast and i think they knew it would get mentioned publicly because this is jake weddle we're talking about i think he's he's frantic he's off his rocker a little bit he can't hold anything back i think they all knew that jake was going to go straight to the internet straight to a video with this information because Let's be honest here. He can't keep his mouth shut about anything. He can't keep his mouth shut about NDAs or the videos he was in while he worked with Mr. Beast. And this is huge news and he's trying to monetize a channel. He's going to go straight to YouTube with this, which he did. I think Mr. Beast also knew that he would talk highly about Beast because Beast is giving him the attention he craves. One major thing it does for Mr. Beast is Mr. Beast now looks like the very nice guy that behind the scenes is giving Jake money just out of the kindness of his heart. They made it seem like there was no team behind it. Again, it could be that Mr. Beast is just being a very nice guy. I'm just saying, I think it was probably a little bit of a PR move here to make everything look good. And the second thing it does is if Jake takes this money, he does lose credibility, a lot of credibility. Because now if Jake tries to come out and say anything else about Mr. Beast, the first thing everybody's gonna say is, dude, you just accepted $50,000 from the guy. You can't really talk shit about him now. I don't know, there's still a lot going on. There's still a third video coming soon from Dog Pack about the alleged pred that was on the Mr. Beast team. I'll for sure be covering that. And any more news that does come out, I'll drop videos on it, so please, Subscribe to the channel, drop a like for me. It helps a lot. This is a new channel and I'm trying to stay consistent for y'all. But it's very interesting. It's very interesting how everything's playing out. I just think, I think this Jake guy is a clown. As of now, I still think most of the allegations against Mr. Beast, although some of them could be very bad, I just don't think there's enough evidence on the situation yet to, you know, throw Beast on a pitchfork. But we'll see what happens, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. And y'all, I do read the fucking comments. So please, you know, let's have a conversation in the comments. Again, it's a new channel. Not a lot of people comment. I would very much appreciate if you watch this video that you comment. Even if you disagree, that's completely fine. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.